A project called the Las Olas Undergrounding has been 20 years in the making, but just got off the ground last year and is now nearing completion in Fort Lauderdale. It's meant to bring all of the modern bells and whistles to established communities, while at the same time making them more able to withstand natural disasters such as hurricanes and flooding. And NBC6 anchor Trina Robinson is here to tell us all about it. Trina? Yeah, it's a fantastic project. And yeah, guys, Las Olas Isles will be the first community to get the infrastructure overhaul all because one resident didn't wait for the city to come knocking on his door to get the bulldozers rolling. He took action. Los Olas Isles resident Tom Godard saw a need in his neighborhood. He set out to empower change, and now he and his neighbors will be the first community in Fort Lauderdale to get an infrastructure upgrade that makes older homes technologically new called the Las Olas Isles Undergrounding. You know, when you build a master plan community with vacant land, you start from scratch. Everything goes underground, it looks beautiful, it's the community of the future, right? Well, now there's an opportunity to go into existing neighborhood. District 2 Commissioner Steve Glassman fought for almost six years to get the project moving. We are going to be taking every single power line that you see on this street and we're going to be burying it. No ugly poles, no ugly lines. Uh, we're also going to be making an incredible aesthetic improvements to this neighborhood. We're talking about redoing the streets. We're talking about street lights. Uh, this is really a total project for this neighborhood. To accomplish that, bulldozers started burrowing through the earth to make room for 15 miles of cable. Over 100 transformers. Here's a map of the streets that are in the midst of the transformation, meaning companies like Comcast, FPL, and local construction companies must work in tandem. What you're seeing here is NBC6 drone video showing parts of the vast area that are currently undergoing the improvements that are more than just cosmetic. But we're also talking about a much safer neighborhood. You know, storms are not the only cause of issues when it comes to the above ground utilities that we see. Uh, there are accidents, people crash into poles, iguanas eat lines. At $9 million, the project isn't cheap. Tom had to convince all 311 of his fellow property owners of the Los Olas Homeowners Association that the upgrades were worth getting sucked with a heftier property tax bill. Every home is getting assessed $57,000 over the course of 30 years. So that's roughly $1,700 per house per year. Uh, and it goes with your tax bill. So when you sell your house, the next buyer is responsible for that $1,700. The finished product will afford the Las Olas Isles community enhancements on par with new construction homes. But until it's finished, residents will have to endure the noise and inconvenience a big construction project like this will bring. This neighborhood will be a template, not just for District 2, the rest of our district, but for the entire city. And project completion could happen before the end of this year. And the city says other homeowners are already lining up to get the undergrounding upgrades for their neighborhoods.